Hello, John Britt here, John Britt Pottery. We've got a glazing demo for you today. Uh, I am glazing stuff for some uh, Spruce Pine Potter's Market that's coming up in October, uh, October 8th and 9th, and I have to get stuff ready a little bit ahead of time. So, like, this is the pot I'm going to be making. It's um, got three uh, glazes on it, this black, which is uh, here, John's satin black. And then I'm going to put on this straw ash over here. Okay, we're showing you this so you can uh, get, get the recipe. They're in the book also. But here, here's then this ash glaze runs down, and that's called Ashley's ash over here. Okay? So here's the deal that this, when I put these two glazes, three glazes together, normally I would glaze the bottom with the black and then I would glaze this um, John Straw Ash and put the Ashley's Ash on top and what happens is it flakes off and that's because it has a lot of uh, clay in the recipe and when clay dries it shrinks and the uh, Straw Ash recipe had almost no clay in it so it's real dusty so it comes right off. Okay, so then what I decided to do was put it on the Ashley's ash first, wax it, and then pour the straw ash over. So that's a, a way to fix what this problem was. Okay, so let me just show you what I've got here. This is the old school way. That is called frost porcelain. I threw it and assembled it. It's bis fired to 05. So the first thing I'm going to do is I usually check my pot out, make sure there's not sharp edges because anything that's sharp now will be rock hard and sharp later. So I clean this all up. Then what I'm going to do is get my wax ready. So normally what I do is I have, this is my container for brushes. I have a little bit of soap in there that keeps my wax brush from getting ruined all the time. And I'm using this uh, Aftosa wax. And so what I do is just put some in there, I water, sometimes water it down some, and then I'll come in here and wax it. I just do, you can do them, uh, dip them, and do other ways of coating the foot, but uh, since I'm only doing a couple here, I'm not going to go crazy on efficiency. Alright, so that's that. So now, then I'll put my brush away. Okay, so now what I got is my pot here. I can put my Pot away. Okay, here's my pot that I've waxed and it's dried pretty good. Then I'm going to take my black glaze. I'm going to make sure I stir this up good. I also have the specific gravity written down there, which is not always critical, but it can help you. And so this one, so now I'm going to hold it in here for a couple seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, boom. And I'll get it out like that. Then I'll do two coats. So once that starts drying, I'm ready. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Boom, done. Okay, so then I come in right now and just get most of the glaze off of this bottom that I don't want on there. Then I would let that sit a minute. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that this one is mixed up well. This is the Ashley's Ash. And it's a very thin glaze. It's 125 of specific gravity. That's very thin because you don't because it runs a lot. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is just paint a strip on, like this. And see, the specific gravity is not the end of the world on these because if I put two coats on, you know that, that makes it thicker. Or I, you know, I could do one coat if it was. A higher specific gravity. So all this, all the only thing that matters is how much glaze gets on this pot. And what my idea is, I want this to run down, but not run off the foot. Okay. So then my next one, I would probably coat this some. Sometimes I'll do this also on a banding wheel, uh, but I'm just doing it this way to show you real quick. You do things a lot different when you're demoing versus when you're just sitting around doing stuff. And then my last one would be, I would probably dip this top uh, 
rim because I want to get good. I can get a lot of running from here before the bottom, but here I can get less. So that's probably what I would do. I would let that dry a little. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and wax that. So I'm going to just come in like this with my wax and I'm going to just wax this. And I, I'm not being precise about it because it's all going to run. That's the whole idea. But I'm just putting wax on. And that's it. So I would wax the rest of those. And then I would end up with this pot. So I've got everything waxed. You can see it. It's dried real good. Now what I'm going to do is stir up my John Straw Ash. that all these things, you got to stir them pretty much constantly, especially like I said, this doesn't have very much clay in it, so it doesn't suspend well. So then I have my cup there, I like to hang the cup there, and then I'll pour this, put this over my container, and then pour it. So I'm going to, it's like doing a one dip. So you're essentially going, you know, like one one thousand on everything. Okay. Probably got some something on there, but we'll see if we can touch that up. Like either a little splash of wax or something. But there we go. And sometimes you have to take a like heat it up to get that to go away. But and also you see how it beads up here. Sometimes I'll knock the beads off of there, but in this case it won't matter because it's all going to start running together. Now my second coat, I'm going to stir again. Get my, and this is at 139 specific gravity. And then I'll just pour that on there. And just so you know, the only reason I know how to do this is I've done it a few times and I know if I glaze too far down towards the bottom, like down here, it'll run too much. Okay? So I'm thinking that's pretty good. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do on this is probably put it on a little uh, stilt with a drip tray so that if it runs it won't adhere it to the shelf. Alright? I think I got everything. So you got to glaze about 500 of those and we'll see you tomorrow.